it's an evolving landscape. Uh, as we do in oncology in general, we, we start the evaluation of novel therapies in the setting of advanced disease. Uh, especially that this is the area of highest unmet need. Uh, patients with advanced disease, uh, for patients with advanced disease, we've only had one approved therapy, which is sorafenib, for over 10 years now, uh, with a modest median survival of, of 10 to 11 months uh, based on the SHARP trial. So this is where the evaluation of immunotherapy has started. Because of the tolerability of immunotherapy and because of its mechanism of action, there is definitely ample opportunity to incorporate it in earlier stages of disease. Um, there's also rationale, like we alluded to earlier, that some of the local regional modalities can increase antigenic exposure, such as chemoembolization or radiofrequency ablation, or even radiation therapy, and therefore maybe could be adjuncts to immunotherapy in earlier stages of disease. So this is an area now that's actively being looked at and considered especially now that the safety has been established. Uh, so I would expect uh, immunotherapy to start being incorporated in earlier stages of disease. Probably the, the, the first two areas where it may move would be uh, the combination space with uh, local regional therapy and potentially the adjuvant space after, after resection.